Hi guys, Mysterious Cat Island, back with more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance. Uh, we are going to Daryl's Tomb. Setzer said there may be a new set of wings there, so why not? Come on around the uh, coastline here, get into a bunch of fights while you're on your way. It's a thing that happens. Uh, auto crossbow is my friend. Uh, one thing before we go into the, the tomb, make sure everyone has some sort of protection versus zombie status. You'll see why when we get there. I'm just going to double check everybody because it's been a few days since I've played. I don't remember what sort of setup I gave everybody to begin with. So, Celeste has a ribbon. Ribbon, amulet, and amulet. Okay. So those will work for what we need them to do. I don't know. I know you guys love seeing this menu. Okay, I did give him an Esper. Whoops. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So. This little thing up here, this is where we need to be. It's a pretty nondescript looking grave. Sounds pretty cool. Ow. Big ol' opening, so... Yeah, when he says anything will be lurking down here, he's not lying. So, let's head on in. Okay. I don't remember this dungeon quite as well as I would like, but we're gonna do our best. Almost everything down here can inflict zombie status on you. Shit. Which is why we're using a chainsaw. Uh, it's effective against zombies. No, um, which is why we had... Yeah, chainsaw works. Everybody make sure they had something to prevent zombification status. I'm going to check Savin's Esper because... Okay, he is not done with Carbuncle yet. We are going to be getting some new espers here soon, just not in this dungeon. It'll be a few more episodes. So, pretty spooky looking place here. So let's start going down the rooms counterclockwise. The tombstone is blank. Carve something into it. Yes. Okay. That's a hint about this puzzle. You gotta come back once you know what to carve in here. Let's see. Got a treasure chest. Crystal mail will be good for Celeste here. And head down the stairs. Ugh. For some reason it gets a little... Oh, and these are the only non-dead enemies here. Uh, if you've ever played any other Final Fantasy game, you recognize the Marlboros. And know how much they'll fuck your shit up, given half a chance. But with Chainsaw, they're pretty much quickly taken care of. Get some holy water. Um, if they get a chance to use their bad breath, they will use. Eh, they will do every status effect on you. Okay, regal gown is um, equipment for realm only. Nobody else can wear it, which sort of sucks. Okay, so the cloud roofs. My buttons aren't working very well today. I um, was hoping to get to show you guys some more espers in this video, but I don't know if we're doing a lot of summoning. Soul Extraction, I believe, is his zombie attack for the Cloud Wraiths. Okay. But if you're level, this area should not be that big a deal. Edgar learned... Ooh, we got a new amulet. Nice. Not that we need it, but... Let's see where Edgar's at with his Esper. You're done. 
Uh, let's give you Golem. Golem is an inter a good Esper to have for some of the things coming up. So, you got a watery level here. There's a turtle. Can't do anything with him yet. Go ahead and flip that switch. And get into another fight. It's just a Marlboro. No big deal. I feel like his name was an Americanized version, or was Americanized the way it was, because of Marlboro cigarettes. Uh, smoking is gross. Well, yeah. Smoking cigarettes is gross. Let's put it that way. Uh, I believe if you have Flame Tongue, it's pretty effective down here. I think most everything is weak versus fire. Um, but we're using stronger stuff than that now. Head back on up. And out. And get into another fight. These evil flowers really probably aren't a big deal. Ugh, my buttons aren't working very well. We're just gonna attack. Uh, oh, okay, instant death. Shit, I was gonna say, oh, instant death does work, but I spoke too soon. That is okay, we're strong enough regardless. Um, we may take the darts off of Setzer because. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna use the regular darts because I don't believe anything down here is going to be. Or the uh, instant death is gonna be effective against any of them. <sighs> Nothing but fights. Lots of fights. I really should just stick with his slot ability, even though nobody actually likes this ability for some reason. Like, it's not the most effective. But when I need to do damage to multiple enemies, it usually does the job. My tea is not warm enough anymore, and now I'm sad. There's like a perfect temperature for tea and coffee and things. Hmm. We get a lot of money down here, which is good too, since we spent so much of it on getting everybody new equipment. And we're going to be doing that again before too long. So, you know, I just can't do anything here yet. Water level's too low. Yep, it's a shitty water puzzle dungeon. Got a Genji Helm, which I believe is one of the best helmets in the game. Why do I keep doing that? Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna... Um... I don't know if the Crystal Helm is... Eh, no, I don't like those disadvantages it gives you. And we'll give him the Crystal Helm for now. It'll go to somebody else invariably later on. When we get some more people back in our party. There are so many fights. These guys. Uh, if Savin has the um, Kazer Knuckles equipped, which I believe he does now, Uh, it does, it's extra effective because they're holy damage, or they're holy elemental. So, that's a, that's a plus. Okay, so, check out the tombstone, it's gonna open this door here. And give you this button to press. Oh, well, looks like the water levels went up. Okay, let's go see if we can get to places we need to be now. So many fights, evil flowers. Ah, oh, but I said, please don't give me. <laughs> I don't remember what three bars does, honestly. Uh, thing I did forget to check on. And we'll just chainsaw one of these guys. Yeah, Edgar's a good guy to have down here. I mean. Take four party members with you. You don't really have a choice at this point. 
Um, you need all the help you can get. So... This area should have opened. Hop on the turtle. And it's gonna sail away. To this room. And to more fights. Now before we hit the button on the wall there, we're gonna go down and see what else is down here, because I don't really remember. Oh, we're gonna see Chuckbo Rush. Uh, I gotta use this one. Sorry guys, it's my phone. Uh, this one off screen several times. But I don't believe I had gotten to use it on screen. We need to heal. Seven getting some damage. Okay. Uh, pretty good AP down here too, so that's an advantage. And we're just gonna have Celeste heal him. And that's fine for now. I want to say this is a safe point. Not too far in. Uh, cause the dungeon itself is not very large. What is in here? What is this? So you're going to want to go and read each one of the tombstones, get into a bunch more fights, Ugh. attack, I probably fucked up that blitz input, nope I did it right, ha ha. Oops, didn't actually want to do a slot. Mycidian Rabbit doesn't do a whole lot. It heals you for a teeny tiny bit of health. Uh, I wis wished it did a cast regen, because I'd be fucking that up all the time. And I think Savin finished learning Golem. We're going to keep Golem on him for a little bit, though. So it doesn't really matter which order you read these tombstones in. Okay, so back up, we are going to go ahead and hit this, raise this water level, and take the turtle down here. He goes on automatically, so you don't have to worry about that. This is a weird looking room. And the enemies aren't any different. Uh, chainsaw on that guy. Because he is the most likely to survive. Like, Marlboros are bad if you're not careful. Or if you're not strong enough, things like that. Uh, they can mess up your shit real fast. There is a save point here. Um... I'm not going to bother using a tent. I think we're fine. Watch that be a mistake. Okay, so we've saved. Looks like there's a couple of chests here. It's a monster in a box. Who didn't see this coming? This one is actually the Angler Well, which is a two-part monster. The shell part uh, has 9,230 HP. We're going to cast Fenrir to make us harder to hit. Uh, the head has 9,845 HP. They're both weak versus fire. Uh, we've got a chance for them to drop Dragon Claws, if we're lucky. That's not gonna... Uh, okay. <laughs> um, well that was much faster than I expected. One of the bad things about that guy is, if you're not prepared, he can cast a really bad... Uh, Earth-based, uh, and we got the Dragon Claws, Earth-based magic attack. So if you've got Phantom equipped, throw that out as quick as possible. But uh, that was pretty easy, actually. So many monster. 
Prismatic Flash is going to be the thing you get the most often. Uh, other than Lagomorph. And, yeah, look at that damage Savin's doing with those Kazer Knuckles. Genji Glove is a really good accessory for him. Let's see. Let's see where everybody's. You got Carbuncle, so you're done with him. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give you Phantom. Uh, we're gonna keep Golem on Edgar, even though I just finished learning it. And. I'm gonna keep Seraph on Setzer for a little bit longer. And we got a Man Eater, which is a very good knife, I believe any of your characters can use. Uh, it's effect super effective against humanoid enemies. Uh, you can find anywhere a list of what those enemies happen to be. I believe it does like times two damage or something against them. Something ridiculous like that. Which is handy. Um, It'll be a good thing to put on a certain treasure hunter when we get him back in our party. Whoops. Spoilers. Come on, you guys didn't think Logwith dead, right? Mm, I'm trying not to yawn, because I've got to be up for like another... It's almost midnight now. I have to stay up until like 5.30. in order to drive to my sister's to drive out of town uh, because if I go to bed I'm not gonna wake up at 9 or 5 30 when she wants me to be at her house so it's a fancy looking place I don't think there's anything special down here whoops na, 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 na. hate back attacks we're just gonna have everybody attack it's fine Wow, we didn't even need Chainsaw. That worked. You're gonna get a ton of holy waters down here. We're just handy if you don't have amulets and things like that. But we do. So... Oh my god. This video might run a tiny bit long. Um... I might actually go ahead and cut it because there's a lot of stuff coming up here very soon. We shall see here in a second though. Yeah, we're gonna be hitting the 19 minute mark here in just a second. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and stop the episode. When we come back, we're gonna figure out what's going on here. Thanks for watching, bye.